the rotary axis for the H series machine is a, a compact, low profile unit that, that's easy to use and, and quick to set up. Um, the faceplate of the unit has a pattern of tapped holes that allow us to mount a lot of different work holding devices. So our, our rotary vise, our collet holder, um, our window frame unit, our flat print bed, all these things can be mounted uh, with a couple of screws directly to the face of the unit. Now, on the bottom of the unit, you can see that we have the same tapered locking mechanism that we have in our fixture blocks and our active jaw for our standard vise. Um, so this allows us to quickly locate the unit in the dovetail bed and lock it down in place. So generally, when we mount our, our fourth axis, we're going to have it in the main dovetail slot of our, our fixture plate. And like with our fixture blocks and our, our active jaw for our vise, we generally only want to lock down one side of the, the tapered locking mechanism to drive the body of the rotary axis into contact with one side of the dovetail slot and lock the unit down. That'll make sure that we have very good alignment between the axis of rotation of the rotary axis and the, the motion of travel in the x-axis. Um, if, we, if we tighten down both sides, then there's a lot more tolerance stack up and we can actually push the unit out of alignment. So the rotary axis can be used um, in a four axis configuration, uh, both with a tailstock, which I don't have here, um, or with a second rotary unit. Uh, you can find in our manual how to, how to set those up to drive in opposition. They can also be connected together in a five axis configuration. I'll show you that in another section of this video. So when you're using these units, you do have to pay attention to your cords. So on, on the right-hand side, you want to tuck your cord underneath the, the motor of the, the rotary unit. And then you can also use a cable clamp attached to one of the tap tools here. So depending on your, your work holding setup and the configuration that, that you're using the machine in, you want to make sure that you route your cables cleanly and keep them out of the way of the motion of the device. So when I'm using the, the rotary axes opposed like this, of course I want to make sure that I only lock down the same side of, of both of these units to drive them both into contact with the same side of the dovetail slot. 